Hello, welcome to Stephanie's Southern Kitchen. Tomorrow is my dad's 85th birthday, so we thought we'd make a seven layer salad when we go to his house and take it up there while everybody will be there. So first, with seven layer salad, you start with a romaine lettuce, something that's crispy and has more weight to it and crunchy. So first, you start your layer. I've already cut everything up, washed my hands, got everything ready to go, so this won't take too long. Okay, so you do a layer of your lettuce. Try to make sure it's bite-sized pieces. Then do a layer of your red onion. The red onions are better. And as you do it, do a round, if you're using a glass container, go around it first to get all your color on the outside so everybody can see your layers. Okay, the next will be cheddar cheese. And we'll go with the outside of it. So everybody can see the layer of the cheese. Okay, then frozen peas. You can't use the canned ones, they do not, they're soft and don't have a very good color to them. So use frozen peas, they're a lot sweeter. Go on the outside. Then I go back I do a few layers on mine. Some people do it all in one layer. I do a few layers. Okay, then put some in the middle. Go back with your red onion. Put some in the, make sure to put some in the middle too. Red onion. Your peas. What I like about this salad is we can make it today, put it in the refrigerator, and tomorrow when we're ready to go, it's already ready. You do need to refrigerate it at least eight to 10 hours though to let everything meld together, all the flavors and everything. Okay, another layer of lettuce. Oh, wait a minute, we'll do our cheese. Okay, layer of your cheese. Like I said, I start with the outside first get my layers going. Another layer of lettuce. And I keep layering until I run out of my vegetables. This, a lot of people use this green pepper uh, cauliflower, boiled eggs. You can use different things, but this is kind of the way we've done it. We like it. And so I don't like to mess with recipes that's been around for a while that everybody likes. So this is the combination that seems to work for our family. More onion. More peas. And a little more 
more cheese. I'm going to save just a little bit of the cheese to decorate the top. Okay. Then when you get that put together, you want to make your mayonnaise mixture. And we've always used Hellman's. I've tried the different mayonnaises and Hellman's just the best for our family. You need two cups. It's going on how much salad you're making. This is a pretty large bowl, so I'm going to do two cups. Two to three tablespoons of sugar, of course, we use three. It is very sweet, so you kind of want to go by what your family likes. Mix it up. The reason you want to wait the eight to ten hours is the sugar and everything has to dissolve and meld into your mayonnaise. Okay. Then put your mayonnaise on top. Stop there, see if that's enough. Okay, there's just a little bit left, so we'll go ahead and use it. As I said, my dad's going to be 85 tomorrow, and we try to make his birthday a little special for him. Okay. Okay, then after you get that put together, I have fried some bacon, make it crisp, break it into little pieces. Anywhere from a cup, a pound, it takes quite a bit of it. But it makes all the difference in the salad. If you want the exact measurements, I'll put them down in the description. But it's a very simple, easy salad and very good in the summer. It's a very good summer salad.
Okay, then take your bacon, spread it over the top. Some people use hard boiled eggs. That would, I think that would be great because it would go good with the bacon. But like I said, this is kind of our tried and true that everybody likes. And the rest of our cheese. And there you have it, a quick, easy salad that is good enough to take to any potluck, dinner, birthday, 4th of July, Memorial Day. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, hit like and subscribe, and uh, we will see you again. Thank you for watching.